Hey, I want to share with you an arpeggiator I made for Falcon. Uh, the idea I had is to make a, a random melody generator, but uh, melodies that are reproducible, meaning that with the same settings and the same inputs, I would get the same melodies every time. And my hope was to make something that I could use for jams or live situations where I can add some variety and randomness into it, but I could also kind of practice it and make sure that I can have a handle in this situation. Uh, let me first go over the setup and then we can uh, dive into uh, what it actually does. So just like any other arpeggiator, I want some uh, notes coming in. I have here a clip uh, of all uh, the notes of the minor pentatonic scale. And I have in Falcon a script. Let me just do this from start. So I'm going to add the script and I'm going to have a link for the script uh, in this video. So when I load the script, let's play what we have. So this is uh, the default melody. Uh, let's go over the controls. Uh, here it's the beat division. So now it's playing uh, four notes per beat. I can change it to three notes per beat. The off chance, uh, every note is generated with a random number uh, from 2 to 20. And if uh, that number is higher than off chance, it won't play. Meaning that the higher the off chance is, the less notes you're going to have in your melodies. If you go up to a, all the way to 20, none of them will play. If you go back to 1, all of them will play. have a, a bank of 10 melodies. See that if I go back to one, it will be the melody you heard already in the beginning of the video. By scrolling through them during the melody play, I can kind of mix and match stuff. And the seed is uh, from number 1 to 100, it's uh, 10 banks of melodies per seed, so a total of 1,000 uh, melodies. And you can just scan through the seeds to generate different melodies. And you'll see that if I go back to one, it will be again that melody we had in the intro. Here on the right we have a sequencer. So let's say I turn off all my notes. Here I can force some of them to be open, so let's uh, keep only the end of the melody. And you can also mix with the off chance, so let's say I, I like this end part, but I didn't like that it's off uh, by chance, I can turn it on. And it's also reactive to the length, so you can see when I reduce the length, uh, the last notes in the sequencer are going to be disabled. set this back and finally here in the bottom we have a recorder and a replayer so uh, on a note on the recorder will start recording and it can record something short you can record it something long um, and it will just replay it for you so let's try a low performance here It's uh, playing back. Uh, I can do stuff here and it won't make a difference because it's uh, playing from memory. But once I turn off the replay, it will be back to this controls. So I can always click replay to go back. I can also save my performance and it will go into a JSON file. 
and you can uh, load that JSON file or any other JSON file created by this script uh, to recall a previous performance and replay it. Also, the script is very sensitive to uh, the incoming notes. Uh, so I have here a different MIDI clip with four, three beats of uh, the same um, note sequence we had, we're even right now. And then a fourth one that's a bit different. And let's see how that sounds. And let's go back to the melody we already know. say this is still a work in progress I'm still fixing bugs I'm still thinking of uh, features if you have uh, thoughts ideas uh, or problems you run into feel free to put them on github and I'll do my best uh, this is a hobby project so I can't promise anything and that's it I hope you like it